Hey guys, um, today I'm going to review over a program, and uh, if you guys haven't seen my other tutorials, you should go check out my channel and see my videos. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So, um, it says follow the demo uh, of the simple circle designed a class A stock that contains a string data field name symbol for a stock uh, symbol um, a string data field named name for the strings uh, the stocks name a double data field name previous uh, clocking price that stores the stock price for the current time a double data field named current price that stores the stock price for the current time a constructor that creates a stock with the specified symbol and name a method named get change price that returns the percentage changed from previous close uh, closing price to current price okay so uh, let's try to let's create a class I mean I um, project And I'm gonna call it the, the stock, the stock class. And yeah, and I'm gonna create a class called stock. Okay, so in in the stock class, we're gonna um create a string data field named symbol. So string uh string symbol okay and a string data field named name. And a double data field name previous login price. And a double data field named current price. Okay, what's next? A double data field name current price and then a, con a constructor that creates a stock with a specified symbol and name. Okay, so a a uh, uh, is called a constructor. So you're gonna have to write the class's name, stock, and then um each each one of these, which is um wait okay. So you're gonna do this, and then um. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here to make it simpler. And yeah, that's that's all you have to do for uh, the constructor. So we're done with that, and then what's next? A, me a method named get change price that returns the percent change from uh, previous closing price. Okay, so we're gonna create a method before the main method and outside the stock uh, constructor. So um, if it's if we're gonna um. If we're gonna return the percent change, we need it's gonna it's gonna have to be double. Double get, get change price, and then in in the um, method, we're gonna have to do some calculations. Okay, so for these kind of problems, we're gonna have to know some math. So we're gonna have to know how to get the percent change. So um, I believe. 
I believe uh, we can search it up on Google to get the formula. Um, yeah, let, let's do that. So. right here calculate the percentage hit, the percent increase first work out the difference uh, which is the increase between the two numbers you're comparing yeah, the increase equals new number minus the original number okay so I uh, I guess the new number is the current price yeah the new number is the current price so um turn um what do we have to do new number so current price minus previous price previous lucky price and then um that then divide the increase by the original number so the original number is the previous lucky price then we multiply all that by 100. Okay. It's one way of solving problems. Okay, so we have finished with that. Now, um, now we have to write a test program in the main method that creates a stock object with uh, the stock symbol Oracle, the name Oracle Corporation, or O R C L, and the previous closing price of. 94.5 and set the current price to 34.35 and display the price change percentage okay so let's create a main method okay i believe uh, we had to um create a constructor um in before the main method or outside a method but let me try it in the main method. So it's gonna be stock, and then um parentheses, and open and close. Okay, let's see if that works. No, because it doesn't work. Yeah, it says create a method called stock. Okay, so we're gonna have to um do it before the main method. So so let's do it before the 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 constructor with param parameters so we're gonna do stock and then parentheses and then currently braces and then in here we're gonna set uh, the previous closing price so the previous closing price is 34 point so uh, previous closing price equals 34.5 and current price and current price equals 34.35 okay it should work I'm getting some type of error create a level okay so previous closing yeah, that, that's correct. Okay, let me try it after the constructor parameters. Yeah, there's a problem. So Yeah, 
now it's working. Okay, so now in the main method, it is uh okay. So we're gonna say stock, then uh, create any. Okay, uh, for this let's just say for the simplicity, we're gonna say present. equals new stock then parentheses then you're gonna close it okay and then you're gonna say uh i mean you're gonna write you're gonna write in here um uh okay we can say present change equals Uh, uh, the percent is okay. Then plus. Uh, for this one, we we're gonna write uh, percentage change dot. Then uh, get. Yeah, no, it should, it should run it and get the correct percentage change. Yeah, I believe this is this is correct. The percentage change is negative zero point four three. Yeah, so if it's a negative, that that means it's decreasing. Or let's let's check. Yeah, but I am sure the answer is correct because we did we we have the correct calculations and the correct formula, so it should all be correct. And I believe if it's negative, it means that it's uh it's a percentage decrease probably. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, watching, and if you guys need help or uh, anything. You comment down the, the, the comments and if this video helped you can uh, drop a like uh, and for um for the locker program there was still some calculations uh, needed to be done so um, you guys can check out that that video and if you guys need more explanation I can do the math math under it uh, and thank you for watching